November is Lung Cancer Awareness Month, and it's the second most common cancer. And it's difficult to identify. Many people don't experience any symptoms until the cancer has reached an advanced stage. And here to tell us about their advanced diagnostic, therapeutic, and management services for treatment is Dr. Ali Abedi, Medical Director for Lung Cancer and Interventional Pulmonology at Methodist Heart and Lung Institute. Welcome, welcome, doctor. It's a pleasure. So what percentage of lung cancer deaths are linked to smoking cigarettes? Uh, lung cancer primarily is a smoking related disease um, and uh, close to 90% of cases are associated with active smoking um, with uh, only 10 to 20% of lung cancer cases happening in people that we would consider lifelong non-smokers. And so quitting smoking has health benefits at any age, right? Absolutely. Um, in addition to reducing your risk of developing lung cancer, there's a host of other cancers that are associated with smoking outside of the chest even. Um, and aside from cancer-related diagnoses, uh, for example, within a few hours of quitting smoking, respiratory and cardiac functions start to improve, including improvements in the amount of oxygen in your blood and reduction in the amount of carbon monoxide in the blood. Um, within a few weeks to months of your last cigarette, the risk of having heart attacks and strokes starts to drop off. And by the time you get to the end of your first year without cigarettes, the likelihood of developing or having worsening of COPD and emphysema essentially drops off. So it's very important. And in addition to that, you'll save a lot of money as well. Wow. Well, very true. And so why is screening so significant for lung cancer detection and treatment? And who should be screened? It's important because um, lung cancer even though it's the second most common cause of cancer, it happens to be the most common cause of cancer-related death, more than the next three categories of cancers combined in that, in that sense. And it's primarily because at its early stages when it's curable, it's really symptom-free. Um, when the cancers are in the lung at a small size, they don't cause shortness of breath, they don't cause cough, and by the time those symptoms develop, it's, it's typically too late and it's spread to other parts of the body. So to catch it early, you really have to focus on finding it. And so so anybody who has been a heavy smoker that we define as having 20 pack years, meaning the equivalent of a pack a day for about 20 years, um, and is actively smoking like that now or only quit within the last 15 years, between the ages of 50 and 80, should be getting a yearly to every other year CT scan to actively look for the possibility of lung cancer. Okay, we've got about a minute left, but a lung cancer diagnosis, of course, can be scary. But at Methodist Healthcare, you provide early detection, diagnosis, and timely treatment. Let's tell folks about those services. Absolutely. You know, our focus at Methodist, the Advanced Lung Center for Managing Cancer, which has been a decade in development, is on patient-centered, patient-focused care that's comprehensive, state-of-the-art, and delivered in a way that tries to minimize any disruptions to our patients' lives. Um, we do our best to perform screening, track these findings when we have them, and get the patients to advanced diagnostic procedures like robotic navigation or bronchoscopy, which is something we've pioneered here in San Antonio as the first commercial site in Texas to have this. Um, and we talk about all of our patients in multidisciplinary ways with expert panels and try to get them into the hands of the appropriate treatment specialist as soon as we can with the help of our nurse navigators whose entire job is to make sure this process is as efficient and disruption free for our patients as possible. Yeah, those nurse navigators, I mean, they're on the journey with you, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so what's the most important, <coughs> excuse me, important takeaway for folks at home? Um, if you are a smoker, in addition to reducing the risk of lung cancer, there are lots of health benefits to quitting smoking, um, and lung cancer screening can save your life. Um, focus on contacting your primary care provider or contacting us at the Methodist Advanced Lung Center to help you set up resources to quit smoking and to get lung cancer screening. Um, and we hope to advance our coverage for these services throughout San Antonio here in the next year by expanding to additional sites outside of the Met Center at Northeast Methodist and Metropolitan to help as many of our patients in San Antonio as we can. Dr. Ali Abedi, thank you so much. Know your risk for lung cancer. Scan the QR code to take a free online health risk assessment. Visit sahealth.com slash cancer care to learn more about lung cancer and to schedule a cancer screening. Doctor, once again, thank you. Thank you.